Okay, I will discuss now the the, the dichroic motion of the aortic nerve. Now, what happens? As we said, we have the ejection phase, and as the blood is the pressure is decreasing in the ventricle, the aortic valve will close, and this will produce this uh, mi mild increase in the aortic. Now, uh, actually, this is uh, caused by the valve, and I will simply explain it. Imagine that we have the, uh, the aorta. Imagine that I have the aorta. Okay, I have here the aorta. And at the end of the aorta, I have what? The aortic valve. Okay, now what happens is, the blood is going from the ventricle here, imagine that here is the ventricle, and the blood is going all the way to the aorta. Now, when the pressure in the aorta is higher than the ventricle, the, the blood tends to get back, okay? And this will cause what? This will uh, push, uh, will, will cause the cusp of the aortic valve to close, and the blood will hit the cusp of the aortic valve. Because it's elastic, it will again push the blood a little bit to the aorta. Meaning that again, the blood here, uh, because the pressure in the aorta is higher now, the aortic valve will close. The cusp of the aortic valve will be distended because the blood will push it. So because it's elastic, it will push the blood again. Okay, and it's a rubber. When you stretch it, it will return. Okay, once it returns, it will push the blood a little bit to the aorta, causing this. Uh, mild uh, um, decrease in mild increase in blood. 